All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, um, but I really just wanted to focus on getting these parts ready for paint. Um, so I got everything sanded over the last couple weeks and I just primed it yesterday. So all that's primed on the cab and uh, I got my fenders hanging up here and we're gonna prime these tonight. I couldn't fit them in this booth all at one time. So my booth is um, a carport from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's the Cover Pro 10 by 17. And it actually works really good, you know, for DIY painting. Got lights in here and it's really bright. Um, got my spray wall to test my spray pattern. But I set up these fans, this one pulls out um, all the overspray and this one sucks in fresh air and I got these furnace filters on here so that I don't have dust um, flying in here or the overspray going out all over the shop the primer I use is this Eurychem 2k primer surfacer uh, spray is really nice I really like this stuff and it doesn't break the bank that's all that's all our paint stuff is all yuri chem we also sprayed epoxy primer on the bare metal spots uh but yeah i was the clear coat they have two different types they got the hs glamour clear coat which is their higher end clear coat and then um they got their polyurethane clear coat um so this apparently this stuff shines better but we'll have to see uh, so that's why I'm putting this on the back part of the cab and the firewall. So the paint gun I used is this $15 one from Harbor Freight. Uh, I use this one for the epoxy because it's got a 1.4 and that's what they recommend to spray epoxy with. And then for the primer surfacer, they said between 1.4 and 1.8. But I figured I'd just use a 1.8 so it flows a little bit better. And this is also from Harbor Freight. Um, it's a kit. It's the this kit right here, the two-piece one. And the gun actually sprays really nice. Um, I think it's well worth it for doing primer. A lot of people say that they're kind of junk after they use them for the first time, but you really just got to clean them good after you use them. This gun I was having some trouble with. Uh, the fan knob was messed up and... We had to get that fixed so that sprayed good after i fixed it all up and my base coat and clear coat gun uh is this harper freight gun from it's essentially pneumatic um it's about like 75 dollars but i've sprayed with that gun before and it lays down paint real nice i prepped everything with 320 i started at 80 grit um Sent it all the way down to the base coat. And if there's rock chips, I feathered those out. Um, and it took like two weeks straight of just sanding, just on the cab, um, to get it ready for paint. And that's really what takes so long about painting vehicles is sanding, because I, I could have scuffed it up and then primed it and it would have been fine but it's less chance of it to fail if I don't have any old clear coat on there and I just went straight down to the base coat. And it would be even better if we went the bare metal, but um, I would have to get the whole cab sandblasted and I was not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, it turned out nice. Your prep is key to a good paint job. So that's why it takes forever to sand because I wanted to make sure it was perfect. We're about to uh, mix up our epoxy primer. Uh, to mix it up, it's a one-to-one, -one, so, you know, however much paint you want, you fill that line, and then the next line is for your activator or reducer. Um, so let's say we want to go to four, uh, so we pour the paint in to four, and then the activator up to four. And the same thing applies to every single one of these. You always add your paint first and then your reducer or your activator 
Um, so that's how you do that. All right, we're gonna pour this now. It doesn't have to be exactly on that line, but you want it pretty close to it. All right, now we just need to get our um, activator. Now you want to make sure you mix this stuff up uh, really good so your activator is properly mixed into there so it works um, so I'm gonna mix this up and then we'll get it poured in the paint gun and then we got to take the tack rag and go over our fenders and then we'll be ready to paint We got them um, primed, the epoxy primer. Came out pretty good. Uh, we do have a slight run right here. Uh, we're gonna have to sand that down. Uh, I got a little too close. Um, but other than that, it sp sprayed really flat on both fenders, so. I don't think this one has any runs, so this is pretty good. Uh, in a day or two, we're gonna have to spray these with uh, the filler primer just to make sure um, it's completely flat and we'll sand that down. I was sanding on the cab. I had some runs in there uh, when I was first trying to use that Harbor Freight gun, $15 one. Uh, so I had to sand them down and I burnt through to the metal in some spots. So I have to reprime them. Other than that, um should be ready for paint soon we just gotta finish sanding the filler primer on the cab and then we can take it to paint all right guys we're back here and it's the next day um for a couple hours now i've been blocking out these doors uh sanding down the filler primer to get it real flat uh, i got done with this one a little bit ago completely flat and smooth and then when we go to paint, we're gonna lay sealer over it. So everything will be in one nice even color and everything will match fairly good. Um, working on this one still. And it takes a while because you gotta make sure you're, you're getting it real flat. Um, you gotta use your guide coat, spread it on there. And I got a block with 400 grit because I'm putting sealer on it. I think if you're gonna be doing just paint over the, this primer and not sealer, you probably wanna go with a 600 grit. But I'm getting it blocked out here. And um, so when you sand, you know, you'll get the initial part of that guide coat off, but then in these parts where it's a little darker, that's where it's not even. So then you just gotta keep sanding until everything's a uniform color. And then that's how you know when it's flat. So we're gonna keep on sanding here. I still gotta do the rest of the cab. I mean, that's gonna take a while. And hopefully tomorrow I can get the doors in for paint and possibly the fenders. And then Saturday, we're gonna get the cab painted. Um, like I said, we're gonna do this first and the firewall. So then we don't have to worry about that because I don't want to be leaning over this as I'm painting the roof. Um, I don't want tape lines. That's why I don't do the roof first because I don't want any tape lines anywhere. Um, so if I do it right here, I mean, there'll be a slight tape line, but it'll be right here in this seam. So you won't even see it. So let's keep on sanding. All right, we're back here. It's the next day again. 
Um, we're gonna get this cab sanded down, 400 grit with the block. Uh, then I'm gonna paint the doors tonight and then pull those out in the morning, pull the cab in, and then we're gonna get this stuff painted in the morning. Uh, back part of the cab and the firewall and then tape that off and then we'll paint the rest of the truck and then all I'd have to do is my fenders and then all that stuff will be done and be ready to put on the frame and then I got my hood back here um, I still need to sand that down and do all um, the body work on it watch there's only a few dents so it shouldn't take long and then yeah but i'm just trying to get the cab and the doors and stuff done so then i can put this all on the frame and then get it out of here because i got some painting projects for some other people to do so i'm gonna set up the camera and start sanding Right, guys we're about to uh, lay down this sealer, sealer. Um, I got a white gray so then when I go to paint I'm not using as much paint because if it's like a darker color it'll, it'll take more for it to uh, get it white so that's why I got a white gray um, but yeah let's get this thing sealed in and then we gotta wait an hour before we can lay base coat so in that hour i'm just gonna sand it more on the truck um so see you guys later so i got this uh base coat laid down and it turned out pretty good pretty smooth not a lot of orange peel in there i think it's pretty close to a factory orange peel uh i didn't record it because i was just trying to get this done as fast as I can or could uh, but it's 2 18 in the morning and I'm just gonna clear them when I get up in the morning because I also have some nib sanding I need to do on some dust spots like there's one right here and here uh, you'll get that when you're not in an actual paint booth this is my homemade paint booth but I think it went pretty good for my first time actually uh, doing something this big I mean I've done my bedside before and it didn't turn out the best but it looked pretty good and I feel like this is a lot better than what I had before so I'll catch you guys in the morning all right guys we're back here in the morning um, I woke up late so I just didn't film anything I was just trying to get this done but we sanded out the dust nibs and then took a 600 grit scuff pad, scuffed the whole thing down. Um, then we laid in one more bit layer of base coat and man, it's flat. I don't know if you can see that. Minimal orange peel, you know, except it's the acceptable amount. Uh, so here in a little bit, we're gonna spray on the clear it's taken way longer than I wanted it to, so I don't think we're going to be able to get the whole cab painted today, but I think we can get the firewall and the back, pad, back part of the cab done. But yeah, so let's get this clear coat mixed up and spray it in. All right, we got the clear coat sprayed onto these doors and it came out like glass. It's perfect besides all the there's dust nips in here you know I can't really stop that since I'm painting in my shop not in a paint booth but that is beautiful so now we just got to paint the cab and then we can get everything thrown onto the frame after we do all the stuff we have to do on the frame man this thing's gonna look real good I mean, for my first time doing a body panel like this, I think this is really good. There's almost no orange peel. Um, 
I sprayed around 30 psi, 31, and I laid it down thick, and it just, just so it would flow out, especially since I'm laying flat, there's really not a big chance for runs. Uh, so yeah, so I gotta keep sanding on the cab, and then we can get it in here for sealer. All right guys, we're back here, and uh, we're getting these, this taped off um, so we're not getting you know paint inside the cab so you know you just kind of back tape it right here right on this uh, seam all the way around and then you take your plastic wrap stick it on there and then cut out your plastic wrap um, once that's done then I'm gonna put plastic over the whole truck and then I got tape off this back part of the cab and the firewall. Uh, so then I can spray the base coat and my less shiny clear coat on here because I didn't want to put, you know, really nice clear coat on these areas because you don't really see them. So yeah, I'm gonna get that all taped off. Um, I'm doing this before, so then um, when I go to ready to paint this, I don't have to tape it off. It'll already be done. All I have to do is just pull out, pull off the other plastic, and it'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna get this taped off, and then we're gonna go get it in the booth. All right, guys, we're back here, and we got the truck um, all masked off. Got this plastic all around here. Um, cut it out right here and then I taped right along where the seam sealer is right in this crack so then you really won't see that tape line um, so that's all done and then the firewall is done too so then we'll, we just got to get in the booth I also added a, two more lights and uh, I took some these are hanging down more facing down I took some zip ties and uh, pulled it up so it's angled in so then it's actually shining at what I'm doing I really would want to put a light right here, but I don't have a bar right here. I could add one, but I think I got plenty of light. So let's get this thing in the booth. I also vacuumed out the booth and then we can start laying the sealer down. All right, so we got everything mixed up. So we're going about to spray this in. Um, got my paint suit on. It's just one of those disposable ones, but just, just to help to keep any dust or dirt out of the paint um, you know they rip pretty easy but it helps so I'm gonna get this sprayed in and then I'll be back all right we got the sealer sprayed down sprayed down real smooth um, so now we're gonna get the base coat on here run the gun between 22 to 30 psi you know we gotta check our spray pattern when you're checking your spray pattern, you want to see all the fine, like the droplets, and they you want them to be as small as possible. Um, there's not really many. I, it's easier to see when uh, you freshly sprayed it. But like, oh, here's some bigger ones right here. If you can see that, those are a little too big. And over here, I started dallying it in, and they got real small. If they're too big, you're going to have orange peel. Um, so let's get this base coat sprayed down and then we'll spray the clear like a half hour later. Alright, we're back here. It's about like 30-45 minutes after we sprayed base and it's dry. Um, so we're going to come in here with a tack rag and just tack rag it down just to make sure no dust fell on it and, you know, get it clean. So when we lay it clear, it just lays beautifully. So I'll see you guys when I start spraying clear. All right, guys, we're back here. Um, got all the clear coat laid down. I didn't only did like two coats, but I laid it on pretty thick, so it should be good. Came out perfect. Really good shine so far. Um, from what I can tell, there's like no orange peel in there. Um, 
Then we got the firewall here. Very shiny. Um, I don't see any runs either, so that's good. It's gonna be a nice looking engine bay. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we're gonna get the rest of the cab painted and then the whole cab will be done. And the only thing left on the front of the truck we'd have to do is the hood and the fenders. Um, then the bed, which is gonna come in like, I gotta do that in like two months because I got some painting I gotta do for, my, for other people and I gotta do a bunch of work on my frame, paint it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I paint this cab. All right, we got the sealer mixed up. Um, you know, I showed you guys before how to mix it up. You know, four, the sealer is four to one. So, you know, four parts paint, one part activator, and then one part reducer. Um, pretty simple. So I'm gonna go get this sprayed on there. And then we gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes for our next coat. We're gonna do three coats and then wait an hour, then we can apply our base coat. All right, we got the sealer laid down. Went down real flat. Um, in about 15 minutes here, we'll be laying base coat down. And let's hope that goes pretty good, but yeah. Then this uh, chip guard looks pretty good on here. And uh, the tape line, you know, it's noticeable, but not that noticeable that you'd, you know, you'd have to get pretty close to actually see it. But I think it looks pretty dang good. Um, so yeah, here a little bit, we'll get the base coat sprayed down. All right, guys, we got the clear laid on the cab. And this, this came out even better than the doors and everything we've done so far. Ah, uh, it's just, it's glass. The roof, oh my gosh, it's so flat. Three coats of clear. Um, the first one was a glue coat, and then the last two were pretty thick coats, so, and it, it just laid down amazing. Um, you know, I got like three runs, I think I counted, I got one right here um but not a horrible run and then i got one over here it's a bigger one so um we're gonna have to sand those out but it came out amazing uh i can't wait to see it when it's actually dry and out in the sun so um that's it for this video and probably next video we'll be working on the frame, getting all that finished up, so then we can put this cab onto the frame. So see you guys later. Bye.